So the inspiration behind the pond was always the 2,000 gallon aquarium, but I don't think I've ever explained why. You see, I love the stocking on the 2000. I got freshwater stingrays, Asian arowana, and to me, that's the ultimate combination. Not for everybody, but in my opinion, for my hobby. But there's other massive fish that I want to keep, including some red-tailed catfish, which uh, this video is mostly gonna focus on. You see, after building the 2000 gallon aquarium and then building the pond, I wanted to replicate something that the Asian arowana did. which was when I feed them, they hit the water hard, but these aren't the hardest hitting top feeders in the hobby. There's tons of others, including peacock bass. However, I originally got these two red tail cats. I still have them, they're in the pond. And I also picked up a bunch of smaller bass, which are doing absolutely incredible, and they are going to turn into be some incredible monsters. I'm training them to hit the water pretty hard. But I did come across, I think it was six large peacock bass. They were what, eight inches to a foot, something along those lines, but they were wild caught. And it took me a while to get them um, eating prepared foods, but I did do it. The problem with these guys is They'll never eat with the lid off, they'll never eat with the lights on, et cetera, et cetera. And that's okay, I have patience. But we got a little problem. The catfish, the red-tailed cats, are growing at an astronomical rate. Faster, much faster than the bats. You see, when I added in the cats, they might have been like this big, and now they're like this big in a matter of a few months. You kind of want to give your head a shake if you think you want to keep red-tailed cats. They grow incredibly fast pretty much can't keep a whole lot with them because they'll probably eat them and you're gonna need thousands of gallon this is a 1200 gallon pond and that's not big enough I will have to increase the size of this in time you see every time I'd feed these the red tails would come out and eat but the bass would want the lights out and it's covered then I'd see them going around and eating some of the frozen or prepared fresh foods they were off live but it was like they were only eating enough to sustain themselves and so I guess the, the, the conversation could even be when is a fish thriving and when is a fish surviving? The bass were surviving, the catfish were thriving. Recently I've been looking at them and sizing them up and the catfish were showing interest in eating the bass and believe it or not, they probably could. So I had to make some decisions. What am I going to do with these bass? I can't keep them in that pond anymore because the catfish are probably going to eat them. The bass aren't putting it on enough size fast enough. I don't have the 120s are too small for them, which by the way, this entire racking system, each tank is 120 gallons, four feet long, two feet wide, two feet tall. I know it doesn't look that way on camera. Can't really put them in the 375 because there's too many little fish in there the bass will probably eat them. And well, I know a lot of people want me to add more fish to the 2000, but this tank is already reaching capacity. These guys I know don't seem that big, the Asian arowana, but they are going to get two and a half feet long. They're going to get massive, massive, massive. And then of course the rays, which are in comparison to what they will become, they're just tiny little specks, little babies. These guys are going to get absolutely enormous at full capacity and say, another three years, two to three years, this tank is going to look absurdly overstocked. I know many people have difficulties envisioning that now, but that's just the scenario. So adding the bass in there, not really a good idea. Plus those bass were kind of boring as much as it irks me to say that word. They were just sitting on the bottom, 
They didn't really swim around. I'd offer food, they'd eat it. I know lots of people that are going to say, and probably have zero experience with bass, are gonna tell me they need cover, they need this, they need that, they need the other thing. They don't really need that. They are like an open water swimmer. Um, I added in tons of wood. I could have did a number of things as according to like a lot of people, and this is just me making videos for 11 years. I've, I know what the comments are like and I know what people say. Um, sometimes they're right, sometimes they're wrong. But to give you an idea, these bass are out and about. Not shy, they all wanna eat, etc., etc. They're doing fine. That's what I'm looking to train. That's what I want to have in the aquarium eventually. So I made the decision to ship them off to a friend in Montreal. He has a 2,500 gallon bass tank, um, which they'll do much better in there than they will with me. So it comes down to, again, is the fish surviving or thriving? I think these guys were just surviving. I'm not going to be able to house them anymore based on the tank that they're in. Uh, I'm not putting any more tanks in my house. I'm not adding more tanks out here. I already have like over 5,000 gallons. That's enough for me. But I just thought the responsible thing to do was to give them to a friend that uh, will be able to appreci them, appreciate them a little bit more. And it's my fault because what I wanted with this pond was to, and the reason why I got them was to give you guys an immediate idea of what I was trying to accomplish here, was, which is to create a predator pond that was really, really fun to feed. Like take the lid off, toss food in there, they just go nuts. Some things, sometimes, some things just don't work out according to plan and we need to readjust. Luckily, like I said, I've got a friend that's got a massive aquarium uh, full of bass. So anyways, I just kind of wanted this little quick update and we're gonna do a more uh, intense one on this pond here shortly, maybe in a month or so, on why you shouldn't be keeping red tail catfish. They just get so big so fast. And I know a lot of people are like, oh, I'll get a bigger tank, I'll do this. Most people don't. Um, so if at all possible, enjoy the red tails on this channel or other channels that might have suitable sized aquariums for them. But at the end of the day, don't buy them if you're truly not gonna dedicate a massive amount of water for the next 20 years or so. Oh, also, I know that the last couple of videos have been on um, rehoming a, a couple of fish or deciding on it, like the flower horns were yesterday and then the bass today. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with the flower horns because I haven't seen your guys' reaction to that just yet. Um, but I also have been mentioning that some changes and adjustments and uh, are coming with some of these aquariums and that pond was a big one. I think moving forward, that's just going to be the catfish pond. In fact, the two are eventually going to fight most likely and it'll just be one big beastly fish in there. I know that sounds boring to some, but give it time, it'll grow on you. And if it doesn't grow on you, those catfish are definitely gonna grow. <laughs>